Today I'm going to show you four different ideas for bookmark designing. You can follow along or mix and match materials and techniques. To draw my feather, I'm going to draw a long shallow curve. Starting at one end, I'm drawing a line next to this line and then I'll connect again at the top. I'm adding a few bits of fluffy feather down the bottom. Now I'm going to add a longer curved line. Come back in another long curved line, come back in, drawing another long curved line and now I'm doing the top of the feather, coming back down. I'm going to do the same sort of thing on this side of the feather but it's not going to mirror the other side, it's going to be uneven. add some lines to show the direction that the bits of feather are coming out of the quill. I'm colouring in my feather now with watercolour pencils. When I put a new colour, I'm going to overlap it slightly with the last colour. brush I'm going to wet my watercolor pencil to activate the watercolor paint and I'm only going to paint one color at a time cleaning my brush between colors I'm going to avoid painting the line down the middle of the feather the quill or spine the yellow on my brush to gently add a few little dots of colour here and there and then some blobs of water randomly across the feather to create an interesting movement of paint before it all dries. non-fiction subject. I really like dinosaurs so that's what I'm going to use as inspiration for this bookmark. I'm using three different coloured pencils to create a sunset first. black paper I've cut out the shape of some rocky ground and I'm sticking it down with glue. I'm using a lightly coloured pencil to draw on the black paper to work out my shapes before I cut them out. I'm gluing them down with glue stick. Now I'm adding the Dewey Decimal call number for dinosaur books in non-fiction. This is so when I'm in the library, I know exactly where to look. I've cut a coloured piece of paper a little smaller than the actual bookmark, so it looks like I've got a border. On a fresh piece of paper, I'm going to draw Greg from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I've started off by drawing two ovals for eyes. 
under the right eye, I'm drawing a nose, and above that right eye, I'm drawing a large C, as round as I can, I'm trying to make a circle. And I can fix it up a little bit. I'm actually going to rub out the lead pencil later anyway. Adding a long wide curve for the mouth. There are three bits of hair coming out here, a little bit like a patch of grass. Underneath that I'm adding a C shape for the ear and a long curve for the top of the body. Next to that you're going to come out doing a similar curve but it's going to flare out. Add a backwards L and then we're going to add a curve around the top of that for the backpack strap. I'm drawing the backpack here. This line of the arm will follow the curve of the line next to it and end at the bottom of the backpack. Adding the fingers one by one. I'm going to make this front curve just a little bit longer and then join the bottom of the thumb to the front of the shirt. I'm adding a long curve again but this time I'm curving the other way. The back of the legs will follow the same curve. This line here is just only slightly diagonal, pointing upwards a little bit, and it goes a little bit further out from the legs. These will be Greg's shorts. Greg's legs are very thin, but they're a tiny bit wider than his arms. large C for the back of the shoe, then a flat line for the bottom of the shoe. Adding little lines for socks. Now I'll go over everything with my texture. out my lead pencil, cutting it out and sticking it down with glue. cut out all the letters that I wanted on my bookmark and created a heart shape with some newspaper print. Mm -hmm. 